Sweet and sour sauce is in the building. Yes, yes. All right, so we're back with Life is Strange 2, episode four, Faith. So once again, Sean is off in La La Land dreaming about what never will be. Don't get so close to that edge. <laughs> well, he says while sitting down. Please. Get up and help him. Yes, I, I swear. Yep, go ahead. Stop! It's two months later and he wakes up in a hospital bed with an eye wound. Soon our cool ass nurse comes in to check on us and run a few tests. But remember, your depth perception will always be affected. Stop saying that, bro. Mm. Here, read this. Patient cleared. Patient cleared. Send him right to jail. We get interrupted by the detective assigned to our case who wants to interview us again so they can put together what happened with our dad and at Merrill's farm. Listen close, Sean. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. You might spend the rest of your life in prison or you can talk to me. We also find out that Daniel has been missing since the farm incident. You lied to me. You have no leads. You have no fucking idea where my brother is. I don't lie, Sean. But you did. And your brother is paying the price. Fuck. You. I'm done. Sean's nurse, Joey, comes back to clean his eye, which from now on he has to remember to do by himself four times a day. Next thing you know, we find a message from Jacob saying that him and Daniel are together in his hometown. Huh? Hmm? Does that mean... It means that Daniel... Wait, wait, hold on, let me read it! Daniel's with Jacob somewhere? <sighs> He's safe? I could see him again. Now commence Operation Prison Break. Sean sneaks out his window to get past the guard and gather his belongings. Okay, the guard is sleeping. This is your big chance, dude. Imagine being a guard and being asleep while you on guard. We out ya, period. Yeah, give me that medicine, bitch. I gotta clean my eye. Four times a day. With the saline. Fuck you mean. On his way out, he spots Finn in the same hospital as him all along. So we wake his ass up. I gotta wake him up. Finn. Finn. Hey. Over here. So, where's Daniel? I can't tell you, Finn. But I'm going to get him back. Good. Don't blame you for trusting me anymore my fault you're in here it definitely is my brother we hijack some poor old nurse's car and skedaddle adding another crime to our criminal record don't you love that copyright music after driving for a hot minute sean pulls over to the side of the road to collect himself and get some sleep and then oh shit What the fuck are you doing on our property? Property? Listen, it's not what you think. Oh, I think it is. You ain't the first beaner we caught. Is that a racist Take term? Dude, come Sir? On. Get it. Let's see what he's holding. Fucking toys, man. You still play with toys? Seriously? It belongs to my brother. Bro, y'all feel good Leave bullying? Whoa, you did not. That's it, boy. Okay, Chad. We fucked with him. Let him go. He's got nothing. Hey. Hold on a sec, Mike. He's just a freaking nobody. You speak Spanish, Pedro? Huh? Wow. What? what? Sing something. What? What? You just pass the audition and you're free. We'll be very upset if you refuse. Let's see. Donde estás? Me pregunto qué serás. 
After being the second saddest moment in his game, Sean is released from those cunts, but soon finds out he's low on gas. On foot now, we make our way through the scorching hot desert to save our little brother, until finally we hitch a ride from a good Samaritan trucker. Don't freak out. I, I wouldn't have picked you up if I cared about that hitchhiking law. <laughs> hitchhiking law. Cool. He gives us some food and some good advice before dropping us off. Perfect. Just be careful out here. These people are kind of weird. We arrive at a church where this little girl got COVID. My name is Sarah Lee. What's yours? Like the bread? Aww. And this man tells us about their new miracle. Men, please welcome our newest member and our latest miracle, the angel. What the fuck? He Look at him. He think he all fly. After Daniel makes the crowd bust a couple nuts over his power, we go find him so we can get the fuck out. But Reverend Elizabeth crazy ass has some other intentions. Daniel, come on. Why don't we ask him what he wants to do? do not Bitch, get the fuck out. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> she acted like a Karen? Yep. Yep. Enough. You spilled blood. This bitch. <laughs> In the Lord's. Sean, what happened? Let's get out of here, Daniel. I want to stay. Just go. There's your answer, Sean. We're together again. So we can go, right? Come on. Get off me. What dude. the fuck? What? Daniel, <coughs> let me go, asshole. <laughs> Daniel! Outside, we run into our long lost mother who takes us back to her motel to talk about things. Why did you bail on us? That's the biggest I wasn't question. Meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years, but I wasn't happy. And the urge to leave just became unbearable. God damn. I had no other choice. We also called Jacob and set up a place to meet him in person so we can begin Operation Save the Bowler Cut. I'm telling you. I mean, be careful. he is kind of guilty. <laughs> She's waited her whole life for somebody like Daniel. The Reverend knows how to manipulate people. She's good at this. Oh, yeah. I have an idea. Jacob gay? I think school must be over by now. Is he? But Elizabeth will stay at the church with Daniel for his special classes. That'll give us time to sneak into the compound before we get to them. Compound? Look out. Keep watch in case it all goes to shit. Sean, stay on the walkie. Sounds like a plan. One more thing. I, uh, we have to get my sister too. Sarah Lee. We oh, they go. trapped her? Come on, man. She's not safe here. She's sick. They believe everything Elizabeth says. And she says she'll cure Sarah with prayers. I know you understand. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. They don't want to spend none of that donation money to actually get her some medicine. <laughs> so me and Jacob break into Elizabeth's house where we find some juicy intel on the church, her secrets, and her psychotic tendencies. Oh, wow. Antibiotics for yeast infection? Ew. That's crazy. That's fucked up. I love stank coochie. <laughs> and I thought Chris, stuff about my sister must be in this one. She got bronchitis. Must be what you're looking for. Anybody got time for that? Damn. She has pneumonia. Ooh. That's tough. And from what I get, Elizabeth knows damn well she needs medical treatment. That's criminal. She's insane. <sighs> As we're snooping around, Elizabeth's little bodyguard come in and almost catches us. But Mommy Karen saves our ass with a distraction by setting a chapel on fire. Now it's time to save Danny Phantom. Daniel, this time the choice is yours. Are you going to believe her or me? I... Uh, I... That's right. You can't tempt Daniel from this garden. Ew. He'll stay with us, his true family, and we'll 
Never leave him. Yeah, like how she gonna say it was her fault? She don't even know. Come on, Daniel. No. Don't force him. Oh. Here we go. I swear, this little kid finna get <laughs> what, bro. Are you okay? I'm over, Daniel. Bro. Go ahead, call your bodyguard. You have to talk to him. You can convince him. No, I cannot. I won't leave you, Daniel. Sean starts spilling the tea on Elizabeth and all her dirty little secrets. So she orders her little bodyguard to whoop my ass while Daniel just sits there watching. Oh, and the church is on fire too, by the way. <laughs> I love you, Daniel. I do too. Prove it then, motherfucker. Yeah, you're right. He like, uh, shoot me in the face. Yeah. Stop. Finally, throw around somebody else for once. Steady, freaking yanking me all over the place. Throw her too. Hey, throw her too. Elizabeth still ain't learned, so I had Daniel handle my lightweight real quick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, Daniel. She really did try to use me. She hurt you. She's mad. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, it just don't feel right. I feel like killing her is gonna end up fucking us over somehow. Ugh, I want her to die though. All right. All right, I guess. Don't do it. Don't. What? Look what she did. That's on her. Not you. Just throw her, at least. Okay. Don't let her drop. So Lizzie escaped the glizzy and lives to see another day. This episode was probably the craziest but most lit one so far. I'm excited to see how everything turns out though with Sean and Daniel and their mom or whatever. But that's it for this one guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe and I shall see y'all in the next one. Actually, the next one is happening like soon after this video goes up because i'm live streaming the last episode today so if you are a sub when nodi's on and you watching this right now be looking out because we're gonna go live and finish this shit because you know true colors drop tomorrow period 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 a period period a. i'm gonna see y'all in the next one peace